you the maximum they will ask you they'll ask for your your passport they'll ask to see it or don't give anybody your passport when you come here they'll just ask to see it or you can send them a photocopy so um you have your hi guys and welcome back to my channel you're watching chidera is here and today I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about renting an apartment in Ghana, especially if you are moving from Nigeria. So let's go. So the first thing you want to consider when you are moving in to Ghana, you want to consider where you want to stay. That's the location. You have to consider the apartment. Do they have light? There's usually always light here. Then you have to consider water. That one is a bit tricky. So here in Ghana, they don't have their own borehole, most of them. So they have Ghana Water Company that supplies water to your apartment. Then you have to pay. So there's a meter that reads that water. So it reads the consumption of water, like the water that you are using, even your washing machine, the one you used to bath, everything, every water you use. Every month, they will check the water that you've used, then they will charge you. That's how they do it here. Then the location is also important, like I said. So if you are moving here, do you want to stay in a place where you have access to the airport easily? Do you want to stay in a place where you have access to different markets? Do you want to stay in a place where you have access to like happening things, you know, maybe like parties, clubs, events, and all that? It's like being at the center or do you want to just be at the outskirts of the town? For me, I live inside the bush. <laughs> so... You have to consider the location right now when you decide on the location for most of these apartments that are like in the center of Accra, they have light they have water so you have your prepaid meter sometimes it's um every apartment they have their own prepaid meter right that thing that we have in nigeria prepaid yes so you have your own prepaid meter you buy light you have your card so you you buy you recharge it you buy light then you put it in you have light for the water you have to pay this with your rent depending on the arrangement with your landlord and that factor you want to consider is the waste management system okay for some of the apartments they when you pay you pay like additional 30 cd or like 40 cd which is about 3k or so a month for somebody to clean your apartment for you so yes you can get that and then they'll do the cleaning for you and all of that but this depends on the location okay because if you are staying in somewhere like Osu or East Legon, which is like the lucky of Accra, you know, you have to pay probably more than that for somebody to clean your apartment for you, right? So, now to get a place here as a Nigerian, you are going to pay in CDs. I mean, obviously, you collect CDs from Nigerians. So, um, but the thing is that you have to go through an agent, right? Although if you search online, you could get like some listing on apartments and all of that, but most times. These apartments have been uploaded by agents. So the process is almost similar to Nigeria. You call the agents, you guys agree. Um, you tell the agents what you want. Are you looking for one room self-contained? Are you looking for um, two bedroom flats? Are you looking for just a room um, semi-detached or whatever? You tell the agent what you want, right? Then the agent will charge you, like, it's almost as if you are in Lagos. The agent will charge you for viewing fee the agent will still charge you for transportation and they don't enter bus you you will take a taxi or you will drive the agent you will still buy food <laughs> yeah you will still buy food for the agent let me now bust your head sometimes this agent will just do you will, will. it's almost as if you are in lagos okay sometimes they will tell you that they have apartments then they'll take you to a place then they'll tell you that ah the people that live there they are not around so you can't view the place Meanwhile, they don't have any place available. But instead of telling you that, oh, we don't have any place available, they won't say that because they want to collect that viewing fee from you. And some of them charge 50 CD. Some of them charge as much as 100 CDs. The lowest they will collect from you is 50 CD. So imagine going through all that. Like, it's really stressful, okay? Apartment hunting anywhere is stressful. I, I think, especially here in Africa, it's just really stressful. So make sure you have money for these agents. And again, when you finally get a place and you decide on your house rent, you will still pay the agent 10% of your total house, house rent for the, for the period you've paid for. Do you understand? 
although if you get lucky some landlords they don't do agent and all that stuff they can rent the apartment to you directly but that one you just have to get lucky or you have to know somebody that knows somebody or let's assume you have a friend that was already living in the apartment maybe like a Ghanaian friend or a Nigerian or anybody that can help you talk to the landlord that one you don't have to go through agent but if you don't know anybody at all you don't have a clue of what you are doing it's best to find an agent that will stress you as usual before you finally get your apartment right so this is um and that's what you should know about the agent right so most of them they will take you to bad places this even happened to me during my national service in nigeria i paid agent show me places he showed me one in fact he showed me one room that if they say i should sleep in the room and they'll give me one million naira, i will not sleep there like it was so terrible i had to ask him that am i a joke to you like am i a joke to you i'm paying you money to show me an apartment you are showing me this this dirty place with no fence so you when you meet the agent you have to clear the agent you have to be honest with the agent if possible you can even give the agent more money so that he won't waste your time because most of them just waste your time in order to collect more money from you so whether to just give him that money so he won't waste your time so he will show you exactly what you want it's not if you tell him that you want two bedroom flats he's gonna show you somewhere that the roof is leaking or something that do you understand so be upfront with the agent tell him that this is what i want i'm ready to pay more money and don't waste my time you understand now when it comes to prices of this apartment right let's assume you are a single person and you you want like um a room self-contained that's a room that has bathroom that has kitchen and maybe sometimes if you get lucky a little balcony you get you can drink wine on mm -hmm. so you can budget around 450 cities to 700 cities or 800 cities that is like a month old per month so you have to calculate this times 12 if you are paying for one year but if you just need a place where you know you can stay and you probably have your own um kitchen or sometimes bath it depends some of these apartments they come in a way that you have your own bath but you don't have your kitchen so you have to share kitchen with other people yeah why others you have your own kitchen but you have to share bathroom with other people like toilet with other people right so for these ones you can get um from around 200 cds to like 400 cd or even 350 cds you get for shared but again that same 200 cds right you can you can get a you can get a place that you have your own bath you have your own kitchen you have everything that you need but guess what it will be inside it's as if you are renting a place in um lagos and you are going to ikorodu do you understand just gauge it that way think think of it that way it's as if you are in ikorodu you can ah, 350k you can get a very nice place 200 k so you can get a flat neat one sweet one you understand but if you carry that money and you enter yaba or you enter ikeja ah <laughs> you will get face me i face you every morning they'll be fighting do you understand so it's also that way here right so that same money you can get another place but the only problem is that that place will be far but if you want to be in accessible like really accessible areas right you have to budget from let's say 600 cities to about 800 cities for a very nice place so you have your kitchen you have your bath you know you have all of that you understand mm -hmm. then if you are renting a flat let's say two bedroom flat or more you should budget around uh, uh, 1200 to 1500 right this is what you will need to rent a flat and again remember you have this money is per month right this money is per month so when you have this you will get a you will get a really really nice place okay so like i said earlier the prices of this apartment will depend on where they are located for example if you want to live somewhere very close to the airport is the price going to be like high if you want to live somewhere close to Atamakes, Labadi, it's going to be like high. But if you want to live like in the middle of town, like Kaneshi, Kwashima, all those places, you are going to get something decent, you know, Labadi and all that. But if you now want to live somewhere, Oboku, <laughs> you, you can, you will get something that you afford, okay? Now, the problem, let being honest with you guys, right? There's nothing wrong with living far from town. I live far from town and I don't. I hardly go anywhere because my house is far from everything. Basically, what I'm saying is that there's nothing wrong with living far from town, but then it depends on the kind of work that you do. For example, if you are doing a remote job 
or you are doing uber or you are doing hairdressing or you are doing makeup artist do you understand something that is flexible you don't have to do nine to five here you are jumping bus you can live somewhere far but if you are doing a work that you have to be at work by 7 30 a.m you probably want to go to somewhere close to your office maybe east legon or sue you know just a, a green body i don't know if i'm pronouncing it so well, but yeah you want to you want to live close to your workplace right the last part right when you find a place that you like after you've paid the agent and all that and you meet the landlord most of these landlords collect two years up front like two years up front no i beg no uh, i don't have money i just got to beg you make sure you have your money make sure you save enough money so that you will not come here and be begging landlord that you don't have money my dear make sure you save enough money to pay but if you get lucky some people can collect even six months from you again i say what well, if you get lucky but the average they can take from you is is one year let's be honest the reason they do this is because nobody wants to be doing onboarding of tenant every month imagine if you are collecting one one month uh, from somebody the person can breeze in and breeze out but once the person has paid you two years or a year you know that ah you can rest as a landlord so most of them will charge you that fee so just to recap okay um roughly you can get an apartment here if you are with 600 cities a month you can get somewhere very decent this is like the average price from everything i've said 600 cities somewhere very decent in a nice location too if you have like 350 cities you can get somewhere okay but the place will be far that is like the summary of the whole video right now the last part the documents needed um for your whole for your rent and all that see if i'm being honest most of these landlords they don't ask for your documents but um some of them they will ask so even even if they want to ask you the maximum they will ask you they'll ask for your your passport they'll ask to see it or don't give anybody your passport when you come here they'll just ask to see it or you can send them a photocopy so um you have your your passport and then your resident permit or your work permit or letter of employment or any like the last video i made on how to get your work permit and resident permit in ghana so any of that document you can photocopy it add it to your passport data page and give it to the landlord some of them they'll make you sign um all those ag tenancy agreements normal the way it is in lagos others they will not make you sign it but roughly most of them they just care about you paying uh, being able to pay the rent and you being a good person because they don't want any do you understand any trouble and again another advice i will give like i always give is that try to dress well organize yourself you understand just just dress okay just for that that time until you get the apartment when you get the apartment you can now decide to wear your short sneaker or whatever but if you are going to see a landlord just dress okay you know present yourself well because the truth is that all these things matter when you are renting apartments because even in nigeria even up to now some people do it they discriminate as against young people once you are young you are not married they will not want to give you the apartment because they feel like you are irresponsible so when you come here you have to be you have to be convincing it's even better if you have a Ghanaian friend that is an elderly person so the person can help you talk to the landlord or find you a good agent safe you understand yeah. so um you guys this is the end of this video and um thank you guys so much for watching please leave a comment share this video with your friends if you have any other questions let me know i'm going to make more videos about ghana especially for those coming from nigeria to visit or just to stay here to school here and all of that so please share this video like i said subscribe to my channel subscribe to my hair channel as you can see my hair is glowing and um i'll see you guys in my next video